Hi, welcome back to Mark Fisher Outdoors, our YouTube channel. I'm Megan Fuller. And I'm Mark Fisher. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> um, so last weekend I had the pleasure of driving downtown and I turned on Michigan Avenue too quickly and I popped a tire. So in downtown Chicago, he and I were changing a tire. I learned how to do it and I helped. And, yeah, but, and it was, uh, we got it together, we got it done pretty quick. But yeah. you know, and we're down in the middle of downtown, right on Michigan Avenue, changing a tire, right, right in front of everybody. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it started me thinking that a lot of times these trailers have two tires. Right. What do you do with something that has two tires and is this big? Well, I th and I again, I think that over the years, I've learned something that a lot of guys maybe don't know is that I think a lot of guys rely on their spare tire equipment that they have in their truck. Hey, if I get a flat tire on the on the trailer, I'm gonna hopefully the lugs will match, you know, or I'll have a, a T square where I can find one that'll match the lug nuts on the boat. I'll use the scissors jack in my car and thing and and that I I think that's a mistake because you don't always know it's gonna work. But the other problem is is that if, right now if I was gonna look in the back of your car How's it look a week later? The back of your car after changing a tire? It looks like an auto body shop. There's <laughs> you, pieces of things still, all over. All of those parts, the scissors jack and the wrench and the little thing to pull the cap off and everything, they're all still laying around. They're not neatly put back away, right? Right. Now imagine you got the back of a truck where you got your fishing gear, you got your clothing, you got your you know, uh, food for the week and all of that stuff. You're a thousand miles away from home. It's a disaster, stuff rattling around. I don't rely on any of that to fix a flat tire on, on my car. Also, or on my truck, on my, sorry, on the boat. Also really fast, if you notice, these tires are significantly different in size than your truck right. tires. Right, and, and we'll, get a, we'll get a shot of the, those tires. But So what I do is I've got a, a toolbox that I keep in my boat for tools that I might need related to the boat. You know, if I got a, a prop that falls off on the trolling motor or something, I've got a, a thing of tools. But one of the things that I keep in that toolbox is a deep well socket that is sized specifically for my trailer tires. For those lug nuts. For those lug nuts, right, right. Mm -hmm. So that's there. I know I always have a deep well socket for the lug nuts on my trailer. And then I've got a pry bar kind of a wrench, a, a, a long handle wrench, because the longer the handle, the more leverage you get, right? Mm -hmm. So I know I've always got a tool to take the lug nuts off. And you remember from what we did last weekend, you always loosen the lug nuts while it's still on the ground, while the weight's still on it, right. but you just loosen them just to break the seal and, and get them loose, okay. okay? Now here's what I do moving forward. You don't need a jack. On a tandem trailer like this, any block of wood, any curb, any rock will serve as a jack. So I want you to, you go and handle the, the camera and. So hopefully the 12th time is sure, we'll see. Stop! Oh, I think that was successful. There you go. So see what happened? If you can zoom in real close, you can see that this tire is now completely off the ground. Yep. Which gives me the ability to take that. Now I can loosen these lug nuts. I can take them off, take the tire off, and put the new spare tire back on. Okay. Okay. And then obviously all I do is pull off the curb and once I get it tightened and everything's I'm ready to go again that seems a lot easier than what we had to do and and all I'm using is either a block of wood and my wrench or if I don't have that block of wood I'm just finding a nearby curb and pulling up or behind up to or backing up onto a, a curb okay so I think you can see that that's a lot easier. Block of wood, which is easy to carry in the back of your truck or even in your boat. Uh, one lug wrench and uh, breaker bar and, and you got it. Anyway, I hope that tip helps you. And uh, we, again, hope that you like and subscribe to the channel. 
ask any questions that you have, give us any feedback, and we've got another tip coming tomorrow. We appreciate you tuning in.